lovely friends and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Lord's Delight. My name is Carissa and I am thoroughly thrilled that you are here and you're stopping by to hang out with us. Today we are making a simple at home parfait. Have you had a parfait lately? I love parfaits. I love that they're layers. I love that you can add whatever you want to it. All different kinds of stuff, all different kinds of fruit. So come on in. Let's have some fun and let's make a party. Okay, so I have actually already started the process. I have down below here just uh, some fresh chopped pineapple and a little bit of dusting of our granola clusters. This time I am using the soft baked granola clusters. They're a honey pecan flavor, really, really yummy flavor, okay? So just some nice chopped pineapple. Again, with a parfait, you can use whatever fruit you like, whatever works for you, okay? Today I'm also adding to this um, my apple butter that I've already told you how to make. All right, and I am also adding this Kite Hill um, Greek yogurt. Very, very good stuff. It's completely dairy free. It's a Greek style yogurt, so you're gonna get that nice thickness to it. And um, this is the plain unsweetened version, all right, that I am using today. I'm gonna open it up so you can see it inside. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wonderfully nice and thick, okay? So I'm just going to continue layering it up. You can make your parfait any which way you like. All right. So now I'm going to put in here just a quick dollop of our apple butter, kind of spinning it around, wanting it to kind of hit all over my granola. And then I'm going to continue by putting in a nice big dollop of yogurt on one side and again on the other side. This is a wonderful, healthy snack, all right? Next, I'm gonna be adding my blackberries. You could use any kind of fruit you like. I'm kind of going hard on my berries today. For whatever fruit you like, that's exactly what you should use to make your coffee. I like to make sure my fruit is all around the edge just so that I am getting, you know, that wonderful color thing happening. So I'm doing the same thing again. Making one for myself, I'm making one for my hubby. There we go, down on one side. Down on the other side. Kind of play with it a little bit to make sure it's like hitting all the edges and again just throwing my berries in having a little fun with it i always want to make sure that you could see uh, the variety of colors that i'm using okay and one for the middle all right next layer up i think i'm gonna do strawberries Lots of wonderful strawberries in there. This is gonna be fun and it's gonna be yummy. All right, let's do some more strawberries on this side. And today I'm using my mason jar. But if you have a really cute, you know, glass dish or something that you'd like to use, you most certainly can. All right, isn't that looking pretty good? I'm loving it already. So I am going to do now my dusting of granola. These are kind of like granola clusters. If you're just using regular granola, you can just go ahead and throw it in there. But some of the clusters are kind of big, so I kind of break them up a little. And I'm doing the same thing all over again. Make sure to evenly distribute it. Breaking up again. 
There we go, all around, all around, all around, all around. All right, okay. And I'm doing the same thing. So basically what you're doing is creating like layers of flavor. Apple butter in, apple butter in again. This one needs a little more and a little more right here. Okay, nice big dollop of our yogurt. Ooh, look at that guys. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Another big dollop of our yogurt going in. You can also make more than one of these at a time and set them in your refrigerator. Next layer up, I am doing some blueberries. Look at that. So yummy and pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do one final layer up top here. Adding a little bit more of the crunch factor. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit, just like that. I hope you can see what I'm doing. All right guys, and to this, I am just going to be adding one more final set of our yoga right on top. That's my pretty. Right on top. Okay. Right on top there. you're doing it and you get a little messy that's okay you can always clean it up there we go all right I want to do a little bit of a drizzle with my apple butter there we go there we go right on top you could put it below if you want you could put it on top that's the beauty of parfaits and then I have a nice sliced strawberry, so I've sliced them, but not all the way through, so I can get that nice fun effect. And I'm gonna set it right on top, just like that. Right on top. And there we go. We have two beautiful parfaits, guys. Isn't that pretty? Yes. That would make anybody wanna eat some fruit. We're gonna taste it next. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she lovely? I love colors and I love layers and I think that's mighty pretty. Mighty, mighty pretty. Okay guys, I am going to dig in right here at the corner and start the process of eating this very, very yummy parfait. Let's go. Mm -hmm. This is really good, guys. Mm -hmm. Definitely need to try it. <laughs> you have wonderful flavors coming through. Fresh fruit. Crunch of your granola. Crunch of the nuts in the granola. And then the creaminess of the yogurt. It just all comes together really well. The apple butter, the cinnamon flavor of the apple butter is coming through over there, connecting all of those dots. This is really good. The beauty is that this is something you don't even have to like fully make them. You can have friends over, like if you're having a brunch, 
You can have uh, different types of fruit, sliced and washed and ready to go. And just have all the different toppings. You could have nuts, you could have maybe two different flavors of granola. You could have a sweet and unsweetened um, yogurt. You can have an apple butter or apple sauce or maybe honey or anything like that. You could just lay them out and people could make their own parfaits, you know? They can really have uh, fun with it and be very creative. So that's another yummy way to have fresh fruits in your diet. Get your grains in with that whole grain granola and some nuts. And you're getting a really wonderful source of protein and calcium in your yogurt. Really, really great snack to have. I hope you try it. Let us know. Let us know what kind of fruits you use and how you decide to do it. This is good stuff. Take care of yourselves. Be a vessel of peace and let us know what your plans are. What are your plans, guys? You gotta subscribe, you gotta like the video, and you've got to share it with all your friends and family. Take care. Bye-bye.